head bug. What we're doing is opposite hand goes to opposite knee. Both feet stay off of the ground. We're, it's somewhat similar to what people know as a bicycle crunch, except we're trying to keep our lower back down, legs stay off the ground, and our hands are actually moving. The reason we do this, so she's going to grab her object, and then she'll turn her feet towards the refrigerator, is we can add weight to this. Notice she's pushing the object into her knee, and she's alternating hands trying to keep her head up. And this adds a little bit of weight. You can use a ball, you can use a dumbbell, you can use anything you want to add some intensity to this dead bug. Now, if we introduce a band to this, you're gonna put both hands through the band and you're just gonna alternate your feet. The whole time you're trying to keep stretching that band, keeping your arms straight, and this will keep your core engaged and it makes things oh so fun when we're doing our banded dead bugs. Ready. Now, if we're using a dumbbell at home, we're going to keep one side stationary, so our knee is nice and high over our hip, our arm stays straight, and then it is going to be more like a crunch, where I'm pulling myself in, bringing my opposite elbow to my knee, so you can see that, my opposite elbow to my knee, trying to bring my moving knee towards my elbow, and the weight stays nice and still. You'll do all of your repetitions on one side, then you can switch sides, keeping it going, and that's our dead bug series.